Hey guys, welcome to Stranded Deep. So we all know that I usually start off my videos with a beautiful sunrise and it's about to hit. Come on baby. There we go guys, how beautiful is that? Starting up a day with like this beautiful of a sunrise is like the best thing ever. So back to the video, we are going to talk about the gyrocopter and the motor engine for the boat. So I've actually thought about a few things that I can mention in this video to make you decide should you get yourself a gyrocopter or a motor boat. First thing I want to talk about is the fuel consumption. Believe it or not, both of these vehicles has got their own fuel consumption. I mean, how cool is that? So we're going to put you guys in a scenario. So I've got this boat as is. I don't think weight really matters with my big booty over here. But yes, we're going to turn this boat around and we're going to go to that island over there. Obviously, I'm not going to go now. I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to put you guys in a scenario of imagining yourself going to that island over there. Please do know that that island is one of the closest islands around. As you can see, there's also a pretty close island, but yeah, they're about the same distance. So I'm going to turn this boat around, I'm going to drive all the way to that island over there, and I'm going to make my way back. The fuel consumption on the engine part, well, on the engine motor, is about a quarter of a tank. So let me just rephrase that. That is literally going to that island and coming back. It's quarter of a tank. So as you guys can see, I've got about half a tank, li uh, half a tank left, meaning that I've already went to that island, back and I went there again twice so this thing is not very bad on fuel trust me if you look at fuel consumption uh, this motor uh, raft motor is actually really considered good howsoever these gyrocopters up here let me just zoom in oh gosh these gyrocopters up there they are a killer of fuel guys I'm not gonna lie from here to that island, the exact same island I mentioned with this raft motor, it just to get there takes quarter of a tank and to come back takes half of a tank. Trust me, the amount of fuel that takes is not that good. Because let me tell you one thing, I can go to that island, yes, the gyrocopter can go faster, let's give it to the gyrocopter. You, you'll maybe spare 20 seconds of your life going there though. But once you're there, you won't be able to bring back, uh, bring back a lot of things. For example, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And yourself, you've got 10 slots of, the, uh, like, of stuff that you can carry. But let's quickly check out the raft. Each container can take 1, 2, 3 stuff, so 3, 6, 9. So already by just one shelf and carrying myself, well, all of these things, um, which is 10, with 3 of these, which is 9, I can already bring 19 stuff back. And look at all the crates that I do have on my boat. I can physically go to other islands and completely flatten it out, hit down all the palm trees, take all the rocks, take all the tarp. I can literally go to shipwrecks along the way and like have so much extra loot, containers and etc. It's not even a joke guys. Whereas with the gyrocopter, let me go there quickly to show you guys a little bit closer view of it. Like for example, the gyrocopter, you can't store anything on. Your gyrocopter is your gyrocopter and that is about it. Oh gosh. It's just a, a way of transport. As you guys can see, I can't hook up to it. I can get into it and that's it. I can literally just fly there now. Not that that's going to help me so much because the only inventory that I do have is what I'm going to bring back. So that's, that's going to leave me ending up going there more often, coming back with less loot, taking more fuel consumption. So yes, the gyrocopter is very nice. It's very nice not to get bumped around by sharks and etc. like that. I know a lot of people are afraid of these oceans. But do take my word that the gyrocopter is faster, but the most econo like economical, economical, economy, e whatever <laughs> it is, the boat. One thing I can also talk about is the materials to make of one of these individuals. So we're going to go to our crafting system. We're going to go to our vehicles, and right here is a gyrocopter. So I want you guys to memorize a few of the things. Memorize the engine, the air filter, and the fuel filter. <clears throat> because the engine part requires the same. Vehicle fuel filter, air filter, and engine. And then it's obviously one electronical part and duct tape. It's one electronical part, and it doesn't have duct tape. With this one, has two electronical parts and three gyrocopter parts. So this is just technically a small way for you to see that 
you'll probably be able to make an engine motor before you can make a gyrocopter. And obviously I recommend you guys to get yourself a raft. Make yourself a raft is very important. These yellow boats, uh, life rafts that people do uh, intend to travel to other islands, they are not really recommended because sharks can actually bump it and then it will tip over. So if you do physically store like anything inside of the boat, such as let's say this torch was there, if you get tipped, you can kiss that torch goodbye. You will never ever see it again. So yes guys, this is a quick small briefing on how to choose between the two. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do hope you guys found it educational. But otherwise guys, if you did enjoy it, please do drop a like on this video. If you would love to support the channel, hit the logo at the bottom right corner. If you would love to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you would love to see my most recent video, hit the icon on the right. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. But for now, cheers everyone.